1001 Solve Problems in Engineering Mathematics, Day 4, number 171 to 176. So this is all about digit problems. Okay, so let's start. Number 171, if a two-digit number has X for its units digit and Y for its tens digit, represent the number. Okay, so... So meron daw tayong two-digit number and X as units digit and Y for its tens digit. So ibig sabihin, yung, yung number na yan ay YX para isulat yung number na yan. Pero hindi, ang sagot natin ay hindi letter C or etong D kasi paano ba natin i-represent ang, ang number, ang two-digit number. Halimbawa, ang 53, para ang standard form niyang 53 ay 5 times 10 and then plus, etong tens digit, multiply natin sa 10. Tapos etong 1 naman, yung 3, imumultiply natin sa 1. Okay, so therefore equal siya sa 5 times 10 plus 3 times 1. So kung ang number natin ay yx, so magiging equal yan sa 10 times etong tens digit natin, 10y plus x times 1. So yung 1 pwede nang hindi isulat. So therefore the correct answer is 10y plus x which is letter B. Okay, so 10y plus x. So next number, number 172. One number is 5 less than the other. If their sum is 135, what are the numbers? Okay, so mag-assign muna tayo dito ng uh, variable para sa numbers. So sabi, one number is 5 less than the other. So dalawang number i-assign natin. So gawin natin x and y. So... X, ito yung first number na i-assign natin. So, first number. And then, itong Y, pwede na pala tayong hindi gumamit ng, uh, ng Y kasi ang sabi dito, one number is five less than the other. So, kung ang first number natin ay X, so yung magiging second natin, five less than. So, paano ba isulat yung five less than? So, magiging lang siyang X minus five. So, ito yung second number natin. Okay? So next, ang sabi ay, if their sum is 135. So i-add lang natin yung dalawa dahil sum. So ang sum dap ay 135. So therefore, ang equation natin ay x plus x minus 5. So parenthesis lang natin para malinaw. So ito yung first, ito yung second number. Ang sum daw nila ay 135. So what are the numbers? Solve lang natin ang value ng x. So we have x plus x. So that is equal to, combine lang natin yan, 2x, copy the rest. Minus 5 equals 135. Then, add 5 to both sides. So, kailangan x lang ang matira. So, add 5 to both sides. So, we have 2x is equal to 140. And then, divide both sides by 2. So, therefore, the first number, x is equal to 140 divided by 2. That is equal to 70. So, ang second number, subtract lang tayo ng, subtract lang tayo ng 5. So, x minus 5. So, we have 70 minus 5 is equal to 65. So therefore, the numbers are 65 and 70. So letter C. Okay, so next number, number 173. 10 less than 4 times a certain number is 14. Determine the number. So hindi natin alam yung number. Mag-assign lang tayo ng kahit anong gusto nating variable. So N na lang ang i-assign ko. So determine the number. So gawin natin isa-isa. Word by word, i para isulat natin sa gawan natin equation. So, ang sabi, 10. So, sulat lang natin yung 10. 10 less than. So, yan. So, 10 less than. So, nandito yung, yung less than, ibig sabihin yan, minus. So, 10 less than 4 times a certain number. 4 times a certain number, so that is 4n. Okay? So, 10 less than 4 times a certain number is 14. So, yung is equals yan, and then we have 14. Then, just solve for n. So, we have add 10 to both sides. So therefore, we have 4n is equal to 14 plus 10. That is 24. And then divide both sides by 4. So therefore, the number is 24 divided by 4. The number is 6. So the correct answer is letter A, 6. So next number, number 174. The sum of two numbers is 21 and one number is twice the other. Find the numbers. So dito pa lang sa... Given natin dito, pwede nang hindi isolve ito eh. So dito pa lang sa, sa sabi dito, one number is twice the other. 
So pag tiningnan niyo agad yung mga choices, one number is twice the other. So sa mga choices doon pa lang, one number is twice the other. So mali na ito dahil hindi twice. So ito lang ang pwedeng maging sagot diyan. 8 and 13 hindi yan twice, 9 and 12 hindi twice. Okay? So one number is twice the other. So automatic ang answer dito 7 and 14. So isolve na lang natin. So ang sabi, the sum, ayan, so may sum tayo, the sum of two numbers is 21. Okay? So ang sum daw ng two numbers is 21. So assign pala muna natin yung uh, number natin. So x, ito yung first number. First number yung x and then 2x ang magiging second number natin. So bakit naging 2x ang second number? Kasi sabi dito, one number is twice the other. Okay, so tapos ang sum daw nila, the sum of two numbers is 21. So therefore, ang equation natin ay x plus 2x equals 21. So isolve lang natin, x plus 2x. So we have 3x equals 21, divide both sides by 3. So therefore, ang number na natin, x is equal to 7. And then yung twice niya, yung 2x yung twice niya. So we have 7 and 14. So letter B. Okay? So next number, number 175. If 8 is added to the product of 9 and the numerical number, the sum is 71. Find the unknown number. So assign lang tayo ng number natin. Find the unknown number. So yung unknown number, ito yun, numerical number, i-assign natin uh, n. Okay? So gawin natin n yung numerical number. So ang sabi, if 8 is added, okay? 8 is added daw, eh di ang expression nun plus 8. If 8 is added to the product, product of 9 and the numerical number. So 9 and the numerical number, so that is 9n. Okay? So we have 9n plus 8. The sum is 71. So therefore, the equation is 9n plus 8 equals 71. Find the unknown number, just solve for n. So subtract 8 to both sides. So therefore, we have 9n is equal to 71 minus 8. So that is equal to 63. And then divide both sides by 9. So therefore, the correct answer is n equals 7. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C. Okay, so last number for this video, number 176. Find the fraction such that if 2 is subtracted from its terms, it becomes 1 fourth. But if 4 is added to its terms, it becomes 1 half. So ano yung fraction natin? Okay, so assign lang tayo ng, uh, ng fraction dito. So sabi, find the fraction. Ayan, find the fraction. So ilet natin yung fraction natin ay x, x over y yung ating fraction. So let x over y be the fraction na hinahanap natin. So ang sabi, find the fraction such that if 2 is subtracted from its terms. So pag nag-subtract daw tayo ng 2 sa parehas, numerator and denominator, pag nag-subtract daw tayo ng 2, if 2 is subtracted from its terms, it becomes 1 fourth. So x over 2 over x minus 2 over y minus 2 equals 1 fourth. So ito yung magiging equation number 1 natin. And then, but if 4 is added to its terms, it becomes 1 half naman. So equation number 2 natin, kapag nag-add naman daw ng, pag nag-add ng 4, So we have x plus 4 over y plus 4, magigi daw siyang 1 half. So ito yung equation number 2 natin. So isolve lang natin yung x and y so magkakaroon tayo dito ng system of equation. So isimplify pala muna natin parehas ang equation 1 and 2 natin. So simplify lang natin, uh, cross multiply lang natin. So dito ko ilalagay yung solution sa equation number 1. So we have just cross multiply para masimplify. So we have 4 times x minus 2 equals y minus 2. Then, simplify natin. So, distribute 4. So, we have 4x. 4 times negative 2. So, we have negative 8 equals y minus 2. So, solve for y. So, express natin in terms of y. So, add 2 to both sides. Okay? So, add 2 to both sides. Tapos, pagpalitin na lang natin ng pwes. So, therefore, y is equal to 4x. And then negative 8 plus 2, that is equal to negative 6. So ito na yung simplified na equation number 1. And then we have equation number 2, isimplify natin. So cross multiply lang natin. So we have 2, 2 times x plus 
equals 1 times y plus 4. So no need to write the 1. So we have y plus 4. Simplify. So we have distribute. 2 times x, we have 2x. 2 times uh, 4, we have positive 8 equals y plus 4. So simplify lang din natin. Solve lang, lang natin parehas yung y. So we have subtract 4 to both sides. So therefore, ang magiging value ng y is equal to 2x and then 8 minus 4, we have positive 4. So ito na yung simplified na equation number 2. So ngayon, pwede na nating masolve dahil they are both equal to y, pwede nating i-equate ang right side kasi parehas silang equal sa y. Okay, so therefore we have 4x minus 6 equals 2x plus 4. So solve for x, pagsamahin natin si 2x at 4x, so subtract 2x to both sides. Cancel this, 0 na yan. 4x minus 2x, we have 2x minus 6. So pagsabayin na natin, so negative 6 ilipat sa kabila, so add 6 to both sides. So add 6 to both sides, cancel na to. 2x equals 4 plus 6, we have 10 and then divide both sides by 2. Therefore, ang value ng x ay 10 divided by 2, 5. So ang x natin, yun yung numerator natin, 5. O kailangan pa nating isolve yung denominator dahil dalawa yung may 5, b and c. So substitute lang natin ng x equals 5 kahit sa ang equation 1 or 2 kahit saan dyan. So sa number 2 ko na lang i-substitute. So therefore we have y equals 2x plus 4 ang value ng ang value ng x ay 5. So we have 2 times 5 plus 4. Therefore the answer is 2 times 5, 10 plus 4. The value of y is equal to 14. So therefore the fraction x over y is equal to 5 over 14. So the correct answer is letter C. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching and kita-kita tayo sa susunod pang reviewer para sa engineering mathematics. Digit problems pa rin po iyan. Okay, so good luck po sa lahat na nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.